Hey everyone, welcome back to Lux Ludums. Uh, today we're going to be talking about why businesses should care about goals and dreams for themselves as an entity, for their internal teams, and their individual employees. So let's get down to business. Uh, though contrary to how that phrase usually starts, I don't think this will have anything to do with fighting the Huns. I hope. Um, so, goals and dreams. For the rest of this video, you'll hear me refer to what we talk about as goals and dreams as just either goals or dreams, but what we wanted to talk about is both of them. So every time you hear me use that, we are referring to both goals and dreams. So, we know when we are talking about this, we can't realize that there was a potential mixed response, although we think most of you will agree with us that goals and dreams are something that are important for the entirety of one's life, but we do recognize that there are some people who think that goals and dreams are limited to the youth. So we wanted to address that before we move forward. The reason that it's promoted with youth is because it's recognized at least on a subconscious level, if not also a conscious level, by families, by friends, by society, that goals and dreams are directly linked, crucially, to growth and development, to learning, to um, de ingenuity, to productivity, and that's something that's especially true and especially helpful for children because it helps them to have goals and dreams to be able to sort of develop themselves more, which is something that's especially hammered down on in today's society where preparing ourselves and our children to be able to go into the workforce, to be able to work and provide and contribute to society is something that we care about and we emphasize from even young ages. School systems, especially here in the United States, are focused around that. They're created and designed. Their curriculum is made so that we are preparing students, children, through young adulthood, to be able to produce and contribute to society in ways that we've already set forward. So encouraging them to have goals and to dream encourages them and prepares them better for that, whether it's in something that's hard science, math, business, uh, art, any kind of psychology, soci anything. Sky's the limit. Having goals and dreams helps prepare people for that. And that's not true for youth. We've seen, studies have shown that it directly, having goals and dreams that one actively thinks about and pursues are directly, do directly contribute to continued, you know, overall mood and energy. Uh, so I guess that's two things. Productivity, your uh, ingenuity, the ability to problem solve and come up with creative solutions to problems that are in one's way. Uh, endurance, the ability to keep going when things aren't going right, whether it's even related or not related to the goal and dream It's or dream. It's directly found to be impacted by the presence of important goals and dreams in one's life. And the more that they matter to you, the more that you hold on to them and foster them and push towards them and are willing to keep pushing towards them, the more that they do seem to overflow and impact positively other places in someone's life and those around them too. So let's talk about why they're important to small groups in an organization. So if you have an organization that has small teams and your teams are designated to do certain things. If those teams sit down and figure out here's not only what we need to achieve because we've been told that we have to produce something, if the team sits down and comes up with their own sort of way of looking at it, their own way of wording what their goal is as something that they buy into, that they themselves care about, whether it's, yeah, sure, we need to produce this uh, a new design for an item, but what do we want to contribute from that? Do we want to just produce a design for a car because it's a car? Or do we want to produce this new design for a car that has 
a you know perfect rollover rating for an SUV, something that's incredibly difficult. It has been done, I believe, only once that I know of, but it's incredibly difficult. But that's a goal, and if the entire team buys into that, that it's something that they care about and they want to work towards, it becomes something, a means for that team to work better. It improves as a group, it improves teamwork, because they now have a shared and common goal that they've all bought into, that they've all contributed towards, and that they all care about. That's important. It means that they'll have a higher... Uh, studies have shown that they have a higher mean uh, rate of successful collaboration, that there's higher productivity. They even can have, as individuals, a lower skill threshold than a team that doesn't have a bought into shared goal, and they will achieve potentially far better results because they have shared benefits to this, and they're all impacted by it positively. So that obviously is a benefit to a company to recognize that these teams, when your teams create these sort of shared goals and a, uh, they all care about them, you're going to see better results. Same thing goes for a business, but we're not actually going to touch on that right now. What I think is what we think is even more important with businesses is that when a business has a goal, it shapes how the business itself develops and moves forward. And it's not something that's just internal. The We know that in today's day and age with the internet and with so much constantly being recorded and transmitted and shared across the world, we know that whatever a company's goal is, it will eventually become public knowledge. And this isn't something that's not entirely new. We know that because of human nature, the internal goals of a company through social patterns will manifest themselves outwardly, uh, whether it's in, you know, interactions with clients, whether it's in advertising, in product creation that is then consumed, it becomes apparent and it impacts outwardly the rest of the world. But it, and it, thus it defines internally because of how goals are structured and how they work within an organization, within groups of people, similar to a small team buying into a goal. If a company, if the people in it buy into the goal, or if they don't, it shapes how that company grows and shapes itself. And it's something that you see reflected in the upper management. So goals that benefit society generally create healthier societies inside of the businesses themselves. Goals that are about Profit generally create more cutthroat, though not always, a point that these are not always the cases, despite the generalizations that be made, they're not actually general. Disclaimer. Um, they, uh, companies that are built on for profit, generally, though not always, have a more cutthroat attitude inside, where employees are more seen as a number. Um, so why should businesses care about their individual employees having goals and dreams. Well, we've touched on how the fact that for individuals and for, for teams and for companies, and briefly talked about in the beginning, that individuals having goals and dreams that they care about, it improves productivity, it improves uh, ingenuity and related facets, it improves endurance and the ability to keep pushing forward when things aren't easy. It also uh, develops, contributes to learning and growth in various facets and domains, even when they're not related to the goal. And it improves the quality of output. So those are all things that an employer should care about. This isn't separated at all even from employees whose goals and dreams are separated from a company. If a company wants to build a good repertoire, it's imperative that society thinks well of you, because if society thinks well of you, they're more likely to buy your product, they're more likely to give good reviews, and it's something that we see, again, with the internet today, is that there's this vast amount of information and the ability for a company to be hurt by negative publicity in any size adds up over time, and so it's really a great asset to develop employees in a company and to foster their goals and dreams, even if you the company knows that that means that at some point, someday, that employee is going to leave. 
because you're building a foundation and a eventually, if not from the get-go, a publicly facing visual of a company that cares about people. And that is something that's incredibly important to consumers these days, is that companies care about the consumers, the employees, that they care about people and humanity in general. It's a growing idea and conscious sort of agreed upon consensus throughout the consumer base and throughout the world today is that it's something that more and more people care about. So time for me to put myself out there as your host. I get to tell you by general consensus back here that what my goals and dreams are so that we can get things started, start talking about things. So for me, my two big goals right now, I have others, but my major goals are to work on and grow this channel with the rest of the team and to get it into something that can survive on its own, that can work on its own, that is self-sufficient and we can get you know, better and more detailed and versatile content out there. My other main one is to finish some fiction writing that I've been working on slowly over the last year or so. Get that published and out there and maybe get some more out, but we'll see how that goes. A uh, quick recap, now that I've gotten that out there, is employers do greatly benefit from their employees having and pursuing their own goals and dreams. Not only that, but there is a great benefit for teams inside of a company creating and buying into their own goals and dreams. And how a company sets, maintains, and pursues the goals and dreams that it has, as well as what those goals and dreams are, can if not in the short term, in the long term, impact and shape how that company, company not company, uh, how that company grows and develops over time and what the outside world thinks of them. So that's it for today. Down in the comments, let us know what you think about this video, what I've said about um, goals and dreams and their importance to a company and how the company is impacted by its employees and its team and its own goals and dreams. Got a problem or got something interesting to say about my goals and dreams? Let us know down below. Any questions, feel free to, you know, drop them. I'll answer them. What are your personal goals and dreams? What are you shooting for? What are you trying to achieve? Uh, let us know. We'll, we want to hear it. We want to talk about it. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Hit subscribe and turn on notifications to stay up to date on all new content going forward. And I'll see you next time.